History was made today in Luxembourg as Grand Duke Henri made his firstborn son an heir apparent lieutenant representative. It was in following tradition to appoint a lieutenant representative which was introduced in the 19th century to enable a member of the Dutch royal family to represent the king in Luxembourg as Grand Duke. The event which took place at 3 p.m. in the Grand Ducal Place will see the hereditary Grand Duke Guillaume take over certain responsibilities even as his dad Grand Duke Henri remains as the head of state. The announcement of today's monumental act was announced in July this year and that put in motion for the culmination of the signing of the appointment decree. Both spouses of the Grand Duke and his son were present for the significant occasion. Grand Duchess Maria Theresa stood by the side as her husband, the Grand Duke appended his signature. She was fashionable in a fuchsia dress and she rocked her signature red lip and smile. Hereditary Grand Duchess Stephanie also stood next to her husband Hereditary Duke Guillaume as they watched their dad signing before the son also had to put his signature on the documents. Both men wore navy suits and donned soft smiles. Duchess Stephanie congratulated her husband with a kiss on the cheek. Prior to the signing of the documents, the Grand Duke together with Hereditary Duke and Duchess Guillaume and Stephanie sat for an interview. Grand Duke Henri wished his son and daughter-in-law the best, he said, I really wish them all the best. I am 100% sure that they will do a wonderful job now with the lieutenancy and later as the Grand Duke and Grand Duchess. I am also looking forward to being a little detached from my work and spending more time with the Grand Duchess. The four royal were not the only royals present as Prince Guillaume younger brother Prince Louis supported them silently in the background. The hereditary Grand Duke Guillaume also took an oath of the constitution at the Chamber of Deputies which is Luxembourg's parliament. Today's significant moment was not an abdication as the Grand Duke Henri is still Luxembourg's head of state. The event will see him share some duties with his son and later pave way for the abdication and then the hereditary Grand Duke will become the head of state then. It is some sort of rehearsal or probation for the future Grand Duke and it could be short or a long duration depending on the circumstances and how the situation develops. After the oath-taking ceremony, hereditary Grand Duke Guillaume appeared at the center of the parliament and palace square to wave at the citizens who appeared in the square. Grand Duke Henri become lieutenant representative two and a half years before the abdication of his father Grand Duke Jean. He became the head of state of Luxembourg, which is a European Union member state on the 7th of October in the year 2000. He will mark 25 years as the Duke of Luxembourg in October next year. Hereditary Duke Guillaume got married to his wife Hereditary Grand Duchess Stephanie a daughter of a Belgian duke in October 2012 and they have been blessed with two sons. Their first is Prince Charles who will be the hereditary duke once his father becomes Grand Duke and their last who is named Prince Francois. After he abdicates, Grand Duke Henri and his wife, Grand Duchess Maria Theresa will retire to the royal residence in Fischbach. A fortnight ago, the royal family of Luxembourg welcomed Pope Francis to Luxembourg on his world tour and received him at the Ducal Palace. They attended a mass service led by the Pope before he left for his next stop in Belgium.